This is the brand new iPhone 5S Take Apart Repair Guide, brought to you by Repairs Universe. To perform this repair, we're going to use quite a few tools, including a safe open pry tool, a pentalobe screwdriver, a small Phillips screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, as well as a suction cup. You will also need a SIM card removal tool or just a paper clip so we can eject the SIM card like we're doing in the video right now. So the first step will just be ensuring that the device is fully powered off, then we'll remove that SIM card. From here, we just need to swap over to our pentalobe screwdriver and remove these two bottom screws. Both these screws will be the same size, so you don't have to worry about mixing those two up. There's the first one and the second. From here, we're going to use a suction cup and place it in the lower left-hand corner of the screen. From there, we can just apply a little bit of pressure and pull the screen outward. It also gives us a small gap where we can use our pry tool to gently lift out the bottom of the screen assembly. Now on the iPhone 5S, there is a new flex cable compared to the iPhone 5, where it goes from the home button to the lower dock assembly. So we just want to be very careful there. As you can see, we just release both those clips on the side, start lifting it out, and there's that flex cable I was talking about. So we just want to be very careful because we don't want to rip that one. I'm just going to pull it out and fully extend it, and then I'm going to get in here with the pointy end of a spudger tool and just release this flex cable. Now the flex cable is just a pop connector, however it has this metal clip covering right over the top of it. So we're just going to release that metal clip, which as you can tell is not too difficult, and there it is. And then just release the flex cable itself. As you can see it was already released. So that's for the home button right there that attaches to the dock port assembly. Alright, now that we're at this point, we're going to use nearly the identical process as iPhone 5, where we're just going to lift back the screen assembly, remove a metal plate, and release all the flex cables. So on the iPhone 5S, we're just going to have four small Phillips screws. I'm going to get a better shot of this. And there we go. It's going to be four small Phillips screws to remove. These are going to be different sizes, so be sure you keep them in order. So you don't want to lose which one goes where because that makes it very difficult to reassemble the iPhone 5S. Alright, and the final screw. Now we can remove the metal plate which just slips away. And now we're going to have the speaker assembly as well as the touchscreen and LCD screen flex cables that will need to be released. So just using the back end of our spudger right here, we're just going to lift up on the flex cable. Just a simple pop connector. There's one, there's two, and the final will be right here. And there we go. The screen assembly is now removed from the device. Just release that suction cup. And there we go. Alright, and from here we're going to give you an example of an iPhone 5 screen versus the iPhone 5S screen. As you can tell, size-wise it's nearly identical. The layout is nearly identical. There's just a few distinguishing factors, including the biggest, which is just the size of the flex cables themselves. As you can tell, the iPhone 5 LCD and touchscreen flex cable is much smaller. Alright, so moving on from here, we're going to begin releasing all the rest of the components on the screen assembly. So first up will be the speaker up here. We're just going to release three small Phillips screws. This is just covering that ear speaker assembly. There's going to be a metal cover that will need to be released. You just need to shimmy it over and that should just pull right out of the device as shown right there then we have the speaker assembly itself shown right here and also we have front camera and proximity sensors so to release that I'm just going to use the pointy end of the spudger tool lift up this little flex cable here and from there here's also
also the microphone right there. And the front camera. And we're just going to peel this back and remove it from the device. Moving down to the home button with the new fingerprint reader, we are now going to release three more small Phillips screws. One's being hidden underneath this first flex cable right here. There's one, two, and three. That first one also has attached a small antenna cable. And there's that metal plate covering the back of the home button. On the back side here, now we can just push from the outside and just release that home button and then just carefully release all the adhesive holding it in place. And there's a look at the new iPhone 5S home button. And also that small little Wi-Fi antenna. Now we're just going to finish removing the LCD, the back of the LCD assembly, which is just a metal plate. It's going to be four screws along both the outside edges. From there, you can just peel away this metal backing. So here's a quick look at that. And there we go, the screen assembly is now fully disassembled. So let's swap over to the main device. Where the first step we're going to do is just remove that battery so we can disconnect all the power to the device. So to do that, there's just going to be two small Phillips screws covering this metal bracket right here. I'm just going to remove these, remove that metal bracket, and it's just going to be a simple pop connector right there. Now the battery itself is held in with quite a bit of adhesive that's pretty strong for the Apple. So you just want to use your time, take your time, work your way around the edges. Don't bend the battery, don't damage the battery in any way. Just keep on working your way around. There's no real flex cables underneath the battery, so you don't have to worry about damaging anything. Just take your time on this part. And once that adhesive is just a little bit more released, you can lift up the battery. As you can see, there's a white adhesive holding that battery in place. And here's the battery itself. And we'll just put that to the side. From here, we're just going to start working and removing some of the components on the top of the device. So the first one is this top left corner here, where we're going to have two small Phillips screws, which is holding in the vibrate motor. There's the first screw there. And another screw holding in this bracket. Like I said, be sure that you keep your screws organized on the iPhone 5S because all these are different sizes and you don't want to mix them up. And let's get some tweezers here and remove that cover. There we go. It's just a little piece of metal bracing for the vibrate motor. Now there's going to be one more small Phillips screw, which is on the side of the device. So we'll just remove that one. vibrate motors loose. For the main camera, it's just located in the top right here. It's just a simple pop connector. Just release that connection and there is your main camera. There's also this rubber elastic brace, which just covers the back of the assembly. We're going to move on to the bottom of the device here, where the first thing we're going to do is just use some tweezers, or you can use your pry tool, just lift up the antenna connection onto the motherboard. Once that's released, we're just going to remove these sm three small Phillips screws down the bottom right corner. This is holding in the loudspeaker assembly to the housing. 
So just gonna release all those screws. From there we're just gonna use our spudger, just lift up on that assembly. And there it is. Now starting on the left side, we're just gonna remove all the screws, holding that headphone jack dock port assembly in place. From here, I'm just going to use my spudger to get inside and lift up the audio headphone jack. And now I'm going to begin releasing all the components to the house from the housing. Just working my way over. It is held in place with adhesive, so just take your time when releasing this. And there's the connection onto the motherboard. And here is a look at this component. As I'm sure you can tell, this flex cable has quite a few components on it, including the headphone jack as well as this bracing along the outside of the headphone jack. We also have the lightning cable dock port right here. The rest of the home button assembly as well as the main microphone. Alright, and now we are ready to move on to the motherboard. So, starting on the bottom here, we're just going to begin releasing some of these double-sided screws just using a small flathead, that way we don't strip them. So we just have two on the lower part right here. The rest of the screws on the motherboard will just be regular small Phillips. So we'll just work our way and release the rest of those. as well as this little adapter right here. Working our way up, we just have a, working our way up, we just have a few more small Phillips screws, putting this little one right there. And just out of frame here is a small piece of tape which is covering one the final small Phillips screw holding the motherboard in place. So once that one is removed, we can then just gently lift up on the motherboard. Just be careful, there's just going to be one more antenna connection. So we're just going to flip it over, and just using our pry tool, we're just going to lift up on that antenna connection, and there we go. The motherboard has been fully removed from your iPhone 5S. And this concludes our iPhone 5S teardown. We're just going to leave you with the final few shots of the motherboard itself. Alright, and if you found this video useful, please be sure to like our video. Also be sure to check out our Facebook channel where we have tons of other videos that might be helpful if you're repairing any other device. And also be sure to check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Alright, thank you for watching.